Good afternoon, and welcome to another calamitous version of Diatribes from the Voice of Doom. Now here's your cataclysmic and catastrophic host, Voice of Hello. Uh, I'm going to do another one, and this one is going to be pretty depressing. But I have to say something. It's the beginning of spring. And I believe it's going to be a silent spring. I believe that things are going to really start going bad real quick. And a lot of people believe that. Everyone I run into says something bad is going to happen very soon. And they all agree with me that they're getting impatient. Most of them want it to happen. And these are people from all stripes. So it's kind of across the board that everyone's getting impatient for the big shoe to drop because most people are getting sick of what we're seeing. And what we're seeing is a, a takeover of the leadership on this planet by evil people bent on destruction. They have come here from the cosmos and they've all been born together at the same time in order to destroy our environment, destroy our planet. Literally, not figuratively. We've seen the absolute annihilation of what used to be the United States and its Constitution. No one has any constitutional rights anymore, so forget that. I'm getting tired of people complacently wandering around in their little jobs, thinking that the world is good, the, what used to be the country is fine. It's getting maddening. The complacency is the worst thing. And I will say that I'm sorry for what I've done to bring this on because I could have done more. Could have done a lot more. I could have started earlier and younger and tried to make a difference and tried to show people the error of their ways and the error of my ways and everybody's errors. Because even if you think that you are innocent of contributing to the destruction of what used to be earth everyone's guilty because we allowed things to go on because we saw that it was to our advantage and by allowing things to go on I'm talking about allowing the world's greatest superpower to perpetuate war across the globe in order to enrich themselves and everybody that lives in what used to be this country are guilty and I'm guilty and my microcosm is sucking big time and as I've told you the microcosm reflects the macrocosm so my microcosm is pretty much falling apart and I expect the rest of the world to follow suit. Now I will explain a few things about why my microcosm sucks. <clears throat> I have a son who is autistic and he's high functioning. But he has a few major flaws in his personality which are hard to overcome because they're ingrained, they're hardwired into his brain that he wants immediate gratification at all times what he wants he wants it now he doesn't care about any other consequence how he's gonna get it whether he has to sacrifice to get it he just wants it so he is now a raging alcoholic 
that will probably end up dying in the street in the cold on a sidewalk somewhere that seems to be his only future because he has no job and he set himself up to not ever get a job because he's got sores and scratches on his face from falling down and from sleeping in the snow and he gets part-time work from a labor place and every time he gets a part-time gig he asks the place if they need full-time help and they say well we can't hire you because you're working for this other place but if he quits the other place he's cut himself completely off from work and no income for him now he's starting to realize that that's not good because I'm not helping him anymore and in fact I've told him that he's got till the end of March to get a job and show some progress or he's out and I really hate to do that because not only do I not want to throw him outside in the cold but I don't want to have to get a roommate because I haven't had a roommate in decades and I really don't want to start again and I can't afford the place by myself uh, progeny number two voice of Boone is going to go to get his final physical to join the army this weekend and I'm not thrilled about that because I did not raise a kid from scratch to have him be cannon fodder for some ridiculous war proxy war or full-on annihilation war and I and he says he's not gonna be fighting in the front lines but he could be anywhere he could be on any base that could be decimated so I'm not thrilled about him joining the armed services at this point in history I think he could have chosen a better time but he's looking at his future and thinking there is one so he wants to get a free college education and he figures that doing a gig in the service will facilitate that because he's a pragmatist he's ambitious he's practical and he's a good kid who saves and is always taking care of his himself and others but he might be leaving soon and that leaves me with Max and he might be gone soon so that's a microcosm that's really sucking big time I gotta pay my car registration by the end of the month coming up soon and I'm debating whether I want to really do it or not because it's saying that it keeps my car legal on the street for another year and I don't see another year happening I really don't I mean there might be we might be existing a year from now but cars no there won't be any need for the for cars because no one will have anywhere to go now Silent Spring I wanna first throw in before I forget that I subscribe to a new channel which I highly recommend people watching called Full Spectrum Survival and it's kind of a mirror alternate universe version of me kind of the exact opposite but saying the same thing very not very funny doesn't have my glib sense of humor my sardonic wit but he gives a lot of news that are, is mostly ignored by the mainstream media who have to keep their position in place in order for them to survive so in a way they're sur they're trying to survive too by not reporting certain news because it might be too upsetting but this guy's serious and he gives news and then he gives you a few tips on what to do to prepare and he doesn't talk about building a fallout shelter he doesn't talk about having you know a multi complex setup he just talks about simple things to get ready for what's gonna happen and that means food water and shelter 
and hopefully a little bit of warmth. Other than that, we won't have anything. So let's talk about a few little things that have happened that I believe will bode uh, badly for what used to be the United States. News nowadays is a one day or two day cycle of whatever the flavor of the week is and then it's forgotten and we assume since we don't see it on the news that it's not happening so the border is not being overrun now because we're not seeing it on the news there's no particular it's just a invasion but it just continues so they don't talk about that and they talk they you know the latest flavor is either the eminent arrest of orangey or the perplexing confusion and exasperation and frustration over the non-arrest of Petri Dish and his family. Because everybody with any kind of sentient um, capacity knows that the whole justice system of what used to be America is galvanized and rallied against one side and protecting another side. Now we don't have a country. I don't know what I have to do to explain it to people. We do not have a country. And there's evil people among us. I don't know who's calling the shots as far as um, policy and administration in the federal level of what used to be the government because everybody agrees across the board that petri dish is not making any decisions anyone with the eyes can see he's incapacitated now we're going to continue to listen to apparatchiks that say he's the hard working he's done more for this country than any other president in history and all this other BS and then just simply nod and say okay that's your answer you ask KJR or whatever hell KJP a question about evidence that's right in someone's hand and, and they say well I won't address that because it's all lies now I guess we'll keep going like this until the bombs start falling or until the next pandemic shows up but I am very negative about the future I don't see summer coming not in the way we're used to it not like let's plan our vacation in the Bahamas let's go to Mount Rushmore no I see a clap down I see everybody in their homes I see a silent spring I see everyone hunkering down in their own homes and I see trucks coming with provisions to dole out to the populace. I see food shortages. I see a utter collapse of what used to be the United States economy. Because Xi Jinping happiness and Vlad the Mad have gotten together and they're going to use Chinese currency for their international trades and deals. They're saying in effect to hell with the US dollar. That's not going to be the fiat currency for this globe anymore. We're going to change things. Why should what used to be America call the shots all the time because they think they're so high and mighty? Okay. Vlad the Mad is evil and Xi Jinping happiness is evil. But why shouldn't evil take over for a while? The good guys have had their time in the sun. So we're doomed. It's not a joke anymore. I mean, I knew it from the beginning. When I started the diatribes, I was telling the truth that our days are numbered. But now everybody's starting to see it. And the people that are still in the... 46% that approve of Petri dish are either evil in their own right, knowingly evil, or they've fallen prey to the dark side.
of the universe. And their karmic retribution will be severe and it will last for billions of eons. So if they want to live billions of eons of lifetime after lifetime in misery, then I guess that's what they're going to get. They might have mansions now, but that's short-lived. And I don't like to think about their future. But I'm sorry to tell everybody that it's almost over. And we won't all die, at least not all at once. So we'll have plenty of time to commiserate in our own living rooms and think about what we did wrong. Maybe we can start again. I hope it starts on a more spiritual level and a more humanistic level instead of worrying about salvaging more bombs so we can bomb the guy next door. So I'll leave it there. I didn't say a whole hell of a lot. I'm just a little pissed about my life and my kid's life and I'm worried about my other kid's life and we're about the whole planet going up in smoke and anybody can see why who looks so i'll leave it there and uh enjoy the day